Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my web space. In the last video, we discussed and uh, talked about uh, the EV. We've been able to identify three different uh, opportunities, three different industries that we believe is going to set us on a great path of creating a generational wealth. So join me as I kind of show you. Let us all just look at it together. We are, Remember, we have opened an account, an account for cryptocurrency. We have three accounts that we already opened. We opened one for the uh, for the uh, 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 cannabis. We opened one for crypto, and we opened another brokerage account for EV. Those are the three accounts that we have opened, and we are going to put continue to DCA in our investment into those accounts. Gradually, we put in a five dollars, ten dollars, twenty, thirty, whatever your capacity is. Take a chance, put it in there. And 10 years from now, five years from now, or even two years from now, we never know. I don't have the crystal ball to tell you exactly what's going to happen. But one thing that I can tell you is this. There is light at the end of the tunnel. There's a great opportunity. Take a chance on, on it. Look, look at it. Do your own research and see if it's, it fits your portfolio. So join me in as I kind of show you one of the cryptocurrency that I think it is, is, is worthy to, to do research on and see what we can do about it. So, okay, so when you look at it, like I said, we've been using uh, Google Finance to kind of do you know, the research that we've been doing on all these industries. Uh, is Google Finance is a very good source of uh, information. And you can do your, your research, you know, as to some limit, you know, to some extent, you can do, you know, a lot of research on Google Finance. So if you go on Google Finance and you click on uh, the leader of the pack, which is the Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the leader of cryptocurrency. So if you go to Google Finance and you uh, type in the uh, the ticker symbol, which is uh, BTC, it will bring you to this. As at now, Bitcoin is 29275 It seems a lot of money. That's what I'm talking about. One Bitcoin. But I don't want us to really focus on that. What we need to focus on is any amount that we're ready to invest in it. If it's $10, we can buy $10 of this 29275 It's called fractional share. So every brokerage account that we have opened, every brokerage account that we have opened allows us to have a fractional share to buy any amount that we want. So we don't necessarily have to buy to pay 29000 we can buy $10,000 10, i mean $10 of this we can buy $10 we don't have to pay so don't let us get scared when we see the amount cost of each year we can buy a fraction of this it's called fractional share we can do that that's why we choose all those brokerage account company to open the webo the interactive broker account the third one that would mumu the mumu account all of them, all those accounts allows us to buy a fractional share. So don't let this the figure, don't let it scare you. So 29,000, we can buy $10 of it. It is all about the percentage that it costs you, the percentage that it goes up or it goes down that you that you should worry about, not about the, this amount. So if you look at it, as of today, as of today, is uh is 29,256, 29,256. And this is the history of Bitcoin right here, okay? F just to save time, I'm just going to go to the max. We see how the history has been. Go to the max, max, so we can see from the beginning, which was to, uh, 2016, okay? Bitcoin, as of 2016, was uh, $327. As of November 20, 2015, it was three. Hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Then it goes up. It goes to seventeen thousand. As of twenty eighteen, twenty eighteen, it goes up. As as matter of fact, it goes up nineteen thousand. Nineteen thousand as of twenty eighteen. Then it drops down. It drops down to three thousand. From here, I mean nineteen to down to three. You see how volatile it is. Then it goes up again. Boom. It went all the way up. $61,000 from 
$27 to the high of $61,283. Then it dropped down. See, dropped down to 35. Then it went back up to 61. Then it dropped down again to 17. Now it's, it's creeping up. It's on its way up again. Now today is 29. That is what I believe that once the regulations are clear, people will trust it. It will not be this volatile. So this is what I just want to show you. 29 today, it was 317 uh, at one point. Okay. So that having that in mind, we can kind of you know get the idea of how it goes. So the next the next one I want to show us is uh Ethereum. This is the second, this is number two in cryptocurrency. Uh, the ticker symbol is um, ETH. So if you go to your uh, brokerage account, just go to the search bar and just put ETH in there. Not all the brokerage account carries uh, uh, cryptocurrency yet, but we are planning to use the Webull account to fund to uh, to have access to this uh, all these coins. So as of today, it's one thousand eight hundred and sixty-three. So I'm just going to show us the max and the low. October 14, 2016, it was uh, $11.95 at uh, November, $9.95, November 2016. Now it went up 1386 and in 2018, it came back down to 157 Well, right now, the highest was 2021, November 12, 2021 which it was 4644 and now it's back down to 1863 that is ethereum so again just like bitcoin is still volatile and uh the last one i'm going to show is uh dogecoin uh is uh d the uh, ticker symbol is d o g e uh doge dogecoin uh let's just go straight to the uh, to the max it was once uh, in the beginning it was uh, less than one tenth of uh, of a cent and at one point it went all the way up to uh 50 cent and now it's back to uh, uh seven cent so i have i just for uh, for time constraint i can't go uh further on more coins but i can just i'm going to put the uh i'm going to put the list at the bottom of the page uh bts we have bitcoin ethereum solana matic but polygon cardona uh dogecoin or uh, shiba inu and all that so i'm going to put it in the uh on the page on the timeline on the page and we can go ahead and do our own uh diligent research yeah so this is this is one of the article from uh less than uh two three weeks ago uh, about crypto Crypto bill from Republican lays out clear role for SEC and CFTC. Okay. And I uh, go further. Let me just show you this. Uh, it said Republican lawmakers released a draft bill on Friday that will provide crypto assets and exchanges a clearer regulation plan allowing digital assets to be traded on more conventional trading platforms and introducing a division of authority between the top two u.s financial regulations so it's on its way it's coming when it's going to all be finalized i can't tell you that but i believe uh, it's on its way and it's coming so in conclusion uh, cryptocurrency creates an opportunity for us for every one of us so we should try our best to do uh, diligent research do your own research and see what you can do or how you can go about it. This is just me encouraging. This is just me letting us know the opportunity that is out there. If this is your first time on this channel, I would like you to support this channel and hit like and share this video. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.